What's up, everybody? Deeksy here, doing a little bit of a different video today, and I hope my Habs fans, followers, won't be too upset at me for making this, but I, I got to tell you guys, a couple of years ago, in 2020, in the summer, when the NHL was returning in the bubble, I had this weird, random premonition that P.K. Subban would become a Maple Leaf. And at the time, I was like, okay, whatever. It was just one of this kind of thought that occurred to me out of nowhere. And then... Not too long after that, I think it was actually the next day. I'm almost certain it was the next day or the day I woke up. I look on YouTube and then I see this. And it was PK, it was PK Subban on Steve Dangle's YouTube channel talking to each other about nothing to do necessarily. Well, they did talk about the Maple Leafs, but I thought, wow, that is a really strange coincidence. So um, today I'm repping the only Toronto team that I really cheer for the most, the Blue Jays, of course. So go Jays, go. But I thought, you know what, let's talk about this because I do think that P.K. Subban becoming a Toronto Maple Leaf could be a very real possibility this offseason, especially because now P.K.'s huge $9 million cap hit will be off the books. It'll be a fresh new deal. And I really think that this could make sense from the narrative perspective, which is where I'm mostly coming from today, and also from the hockey perspective. So let's just talk quickly about why, why I feel this could be a strong possibility for former Montreal Canadian, former Nashville Predator, and pro probably soon to be former New Jersey Devil P.K. Subban. So will this become reality? <laughs> this is an unofficial picture of P.K. in a Leafs jersey, I know. But now, I don't normally come and talk about other teams. It's mostly Habs related. But I just thought, you know what, if this is actually to happen, I might as well share my thoughts on it and why I think it could be a real possibility. So with the Leafs, again, coming off another yet another Game 7 series loss against the Tampa Bay Lightning, Still looking for solutions on the back end. Um, their goaltending situation is a question. But when I look at the Leafs roster, specifically on the defensive side, you've got some question marks. Some fans want Justin Hall out of town a long time ago. He's on the books for another year at $2 million. And then you've got younger guys like Timothy Lilligren, who some folks feel played okay. He's got one year left. Actually, he's an RFA. So Lilligren's an RFA coming into this offseason, 23 years old, 863000 on the cap. And Ilya Labushkin is actually a UFA. So I feel like if Labushkin were to go, this is where P.K. Subban could really come in. And I think he could be a great hit on the uh, on the power play, of course, on the first power play unit with Morgan Riley. P.K. only plays the right side, so that is important to note. And another thing that's important to note, too, is, you know, the last couple of years, that I would say the last three seasons, the Leafs were rumored to be in on P.K., but... That cap hit just wasn't going to be digestible, especially in the flat cap era here with COVID still still happening. So that being said, um, just from a pure narrative perspective, P.K. Subban is a Toronto native. We know this. He's 33 years old, just turned 33. I'm not going to look at his numbers right now, but in terms of where his career has gone, being on the mountaintop at the Montreal Canadiens, wanting to stick around, wanting to be captain, which didn't work out as we know, and he was out of town for Shea Weber, then going into Nashville, going to the Stanley Cup Finals, getting ever so close, and then just, you know, getting mad at the wrong person with Sidney Crosby, poking at the wrong bear uh, in, the, in the Stanley Cup Finals, and then Nashville losing to Pittsburgh, and then PK goes to New Jersey, and he hasn't been back to the playoffs since he was with Nashville. So given the character and the person that PK is, he doesn't need the money, but he does have a desire to win still, I would hope. We all know he's going to have a great career in media after his hockey career is done. But because he's not quite there yet, I really think that this could be a serious possibility. And a couple more reasons for this being that PK still hasn't won a Stanley Cup. That's a big that's a big enough reason for me right there. So he could join this Toronto Maple Leafs team where they're in a position where they feel they're much closer. And I know that the Leafs haven't been past the first round. You guys can say whatever you want about that. Um, I don't hate the Leafs. I don't hate any team. So I'm willing to talk about things like this for this reason, because I just think it just makes sense from the hockey and the narrative side, because it would be a great way for PK. And, and we know his charity work is outstanding. He actually just got nominated for the award. I can't think of the award off the top of my head right now, but PK is nominated again for his charity work. Um, this just this past season. He's a very charitable guy. He loves to do that. He's got charities of his own that he's created. And um, that all aside, from the hockey side, you have to think that this isn't this is an in for him 
if it makes sense from the hockey side, if the money can make sense, if they can, if they can bring PK, PK in at about a, I would say about a two to $3 million cap hit for one season, maybe two, but you know, with PK's personality, some people may feel like the Leafs have a reasonably good thing going right now and they don't want to mess with that. But I mean, Jake Muzzin could be out. I don't see why they would get rid of him. They, I think they need him still, but maybe the money just, they have to ship out some money, but if they can, if they can bring in PK and just simply replace Ilya Labushkin, I think it can make sense there. Now, another thing too, uh, the John Tavares connection. So we know John Tavares and PK Subban, specifically right here in the World Juniors. So we know that Captain JT and PK Subban are good friends. So this is a story where I feel like you know maybe during the off season there could be some messages or some phone calls exchanged between Tavares and PK if JT really felt like PK could fit into this locker room because PK is not a quiet guy as we know. Austin Matthews is slowly taking over as leader of this team. I wouldn't say slowly. I think he took over, as a lot of you guys would agree, as Leaf fans. But I think just if there's got to be there's got to be some itch for you to still be in the game. And I think PK misses being in the Canadian market. I think he misses the spotlight probably. And other than Montreal, where bigger a spotlight than in Toronto? And it's his hometown as well. So it could be a good way for him to stick it to Mark Bergevin for trading him if they were to end up winning the Stanley Cup in Toronto. Um, but it remains to be seen. I just think that in terms of him being a free agent, now is the time if you're going to go after him. And he's 33 years old, so therefore you can't really expect that he's going to earn too crazy of a salary. I don't think it should be over three and a half million at the most, maybe, maybe even less than that, right? So I said between the two and three million dollar mark. But PK is a gamer. PK wants to win. He's got that offensive upside. At times, he can be a defensive liability. But I mean, is it not worth bringing in a guy with some flash and some flair? That could add more of an offensive spark, but hopefully just maybe stabilize your your top six. I mean, you're going to have to sign some guys. Maybe you even keep Labushkin if you can make the money work and you trade some other money out. Um, somehow, some way, if you can make PK fit into the into the de defense core, I, I think it could be, you know, he's going to be great with the media, as we know. But I just think narrative and hockey-wise, it could make sense on a lot of levels here. There's an opportunity for a guy with personality, maybe to take some of the spotlight off of the off of the major players like Austin Matthews, Nylander, Mitch, um, Johnny, T John Tavares, Morgan Riley. So let me know what you guys think about this one. I just, it was a weird premonition that I had a couple of years ago. And then sure enough, PK and Dangle did a segment like the next morning after I had this premonition. And I, I, uh, I did meet PK years ago with my wife and he actually checked out my wife. So <laughs> I thought I could tell this quick story. Yes, this is a true story. Um, when PK actually, this is his first full season in Montreal here, but <laughs> it was so funny. I'm like, well, I hadn't proposed to my wife yet. So I guess I got the PK seal of approval there because he was, he, she asked him for a picture and he was like, of course, <laughs> it was just, just a funny little story with my wife and PK there. Anyway, um, this is the reason here. If you want to know why I think PK won't return to Montreal, because this guy's still here, Brandon Gallagher. So um, that's a real big reason why I don't think he, he would return to the Canadian. That's at least one of them. And, and Galley could be the next captain as well. But look at this picture from the draft. This is pretty neat from seeing PK and John Tavares together. I think that's just a nice shot. And this is one of them uh, just hugging, hugging along the boards here. So anyway, <laughs> this is just a fun little video to talk about. Let me know what you guys think. If you're Leaf fans watching this video, do you want to see PK Subban in a Toronto Maple Leafs uniform? And this is kind of what it could look like right here. So let, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And we'll see you on the next video. I'm not sure what that's going to be because we're still a while away from for some Montreal stuff being relevant again. But actually, I do have uh, one video that's going to be coming very soon. And uh, that's going to be Brandon Caputo, who's currently watching the Hamilton P Bulldogs playoff run right now. They are undefeated still, which is crazy. And uh, the Montreal Canes do have a couple of prospects that you guys are watching, I know, on the Hamilton Bulldogs. So I'm going to bring him on to talk about them very soon. In the meantime, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.